In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to set up M leaders or multi leaders. They are uh, annotative symbols that we use in AutoCAD. They're also known as dimensions, um, but they are typically just an arrow head with a line that goes to a piece of text. And so, <clears throat> typically, AutoCAD opens in the Home tab, as you see here. We're going to go to the Annotate tab, and we're going to go over to Leaders, and Multi-Leader. We'll go to the downward right-facing arrow, which will open up the Multi-Leader Style Manager dialog box, and here it is. I'll make it a little bit bigger. <clears throat> so, we are given a standard Multi-Leader style. But remember, anything named standard in AutoCAD cannot be borrowed from drawing to drawing. Therefore, we will use the standard style as our jumping off point, but we won't modify it because that's a waste of time because we can't ever use it in another drawing if we need to. So, with the standard style highlighted, we're going to go to New. <clears throat> we'll set up two M leader styles. One will be a mech leader and one will be an arch leader. We will start with our mech leader style. We'll go continue. And we will start with the leader format. There are different types. Spline and straight is pretty much what we'll use in this class, but we'll default to straight. And again, you don't have to do this, but I like to do everything by layer. They will be closed and filled because it's a mechanical leader. We're going to change it to <clears throat> 0.125 for the arrowhead size. Then we'll go to the structure tab. We'll leave everything here as is, but we will change this to 0.375. And in our scale, we're going to leave it at 1, but of course if we had a drawing with a different scale, uh, maybe it's 1 to 24. We come in and put a 24 there, but since we're just creating a style that can be deployed in any drawing, we'll leave it at 1 for now. Our content will be an M leader or a multi leader text. We're going to use our mech text. We're going to keep it horizontal, and we will override the blue or the dimensions layer and make it yellow no matter what. Our text height will be 0.125, <clears throat> and everything else is good. Now we will use our mech leader as our jumping off point for our new arch leader. And we'll go continue. We'll only have a few things in here to change. We need to leave this as closed and filled. All M leaders, whether it's mechanical or architectural, we leave that as a closed and filled. Everything else here will stay the same. The only thing we're going to change is our arch text. Everything else is good. So we've now set up our mech leader and our arch leader in AutoCAD. 